Being able to use reclaimed wood, it's kind of the most basic building substance that we've ever had. And you see all this wood going to the dump and, and truckloads. Well, there's perfect good life in it. This is all trash with the most exotic pieces of wood that you can find. But we're taking the time and effort to go look for it and to save it and to try to repurpose it. And it all comes back into the climate, to the effects of climate change are felt all the way up into the mountains, the highest peaks, and it trickles down from there. So every drop of water that falls in the mountains eventually makes its way back down to the ocean. So for me personally and for Ventana as a business, it's always been number one priority is reduce our impact and whatever we have to do, do it as eco-conscious as possible. I've always been quite crafty. I've always enjoyed making the things I use, um, mostly toys when I was younger. Um, surfing I got into when I was a teenager and I'd always bought used surfboards. I had a board, I fixed it up and it finally broke and I was just tired of buying old surfboards and I figured I could probably try to make a board for myself out of wood. It was quite amazing creating the first surfboard and then actually taking it out. Um, it definitely didn't surf very well. I uh, just, I didn't have the shapes quite right. It was my first time building something like that. But it got me inspired to keep going and to really push it further. The second board turned out to be magic. It's the best shape I've ever built. It's my favorite board I've ever surfed. I think I taught four or five people in no time how to surf on it. It was just, it was a complete game changer. And that's what convinced me that I could do it. And for David, the interest came in being able to show somebody or to show the rest of the world what I've been doing in my little barn. Um, so that's when the partnership really took a different turn and it became a legitimate company. I think there's a pretty good northwest swell. Tide's kind of high, wind's not great, but I think it should be good around sunset, so I'll probably head out around then. I mean, the reason I wanted to start Ventana was because surfers talk a really good game about wanting to protect the environment, but the decisions that we make with our purchases don't map to that. Surfboards are essentially disposable. They're made out of toxic materials and styrofoam. And I had this idea that it, we could do it better and we could show the industry um, how we could use recycled materials, reclaim materials and trash to, uh, to change the impact we were having on the environment. Burrito time. Yeah. Hold your salsa. Uh, so I was talking to Richard and Will over at Santa Cruz Guitar, and yeah. they said that they have some more wood for us, I think. It might be some of the tree, I hope. And maybe some more faces. So right. we should probably head over there. Okay, burritos first or after? I'm always game to start with burritos. <laughs> Oh, it's worth coming to work today. Hey, Richard. Hey, buddy. I think a good thing to start with is let's go look at some wood. Okay. You'll recognize a lot of this stuff that you're used to, yeah. but we have some new stuff too. Here we go. This is um, cowrie, and it comes from New Zealand. And uh, our you know, scientific speculation was this forest uh, was buried in a cataclysm when uh, two tectonic plates scratched over each other and this whole forest was buried and without oxygen, it didn't decay. And over time, it's worked its way up like if you buried a, a tri tractor in a landfill yeah. and it poked out and it's carbon dated at 45,000 years old. Yeah, let that sink in. So every, uh, every piece of wood has a story. Yeah. 
I'm working with other small businesses, with other artisans, and all the collaborations we do, all the companies we've partnered with that give us trash wood, essentially, that we turn into beautiful products. So this is the one that we're talking about. The work that we've done with Santa Cruz Guitar Company, with the Western Flyer Foundation, where we take wood from the hull of the original boat that John Steinbeck took into the Sea of Cortez in 1940. Finding the connection to other people that are like us, that share our values, has been incredibly rewarding. Just some abrasion from something that was wearing down. Yeah. In and of itself, it's, you know, they're relics. The guitar contains that ethos and that story, and, and the pieces that are left over from that, uh, they need to do the same thing and go somewhere. To partner with Martin and do this project where he gives new life to the wood in a, a boat or a surfboard and brings joy to people. Heck, I'm all for it. Is that a smile on your face? Yes, this is gold made of wood. All of this. It's, it's the continuum, uh, it's the lack of waste, and the respect for the wood all along that makes it so much fun. I don't think I could build surfboards the way that I do if I had to use virgin materials. I just couldn't warrant cutting down that many trees. So it was a natural direction for me to go into with Ventana is to try to only use recycled materials, only use trash. Most of the pallets that get shipped internationally have this stamp on them, and that's basically the country of origin stamp. I don't know what the number codes of the last two digits mean. But the first two are generally country codes. So this one's Thailand. We've got a couple other stamps, Mexico, United States. This one's not stamped, but it's oak, I think. Gives you a better idea of the color, especially with shipping pallets. They're usually quite beat up, They've traveled across the world, have all kinds of goods stacked on them and transported. So you don't really know until you see what it's actually like on the inside. Don't know exactly what it is. It is a nice hardwood with a nice tight grain to it. I'm going to leave that one, but the tie pallet looks kind of interesting. So I think that one will come to the shop with me. Some of the challenges that I'm faced with using the reclaimed wood, uh, first of all, the different dimensions, different sizes of wood, that's kind of a big one. Um, the second factor is how many nails and how many defects does it have? We get a lot of recycled building lumber, so it involves pulling nails and getting off old paint, or just trying to find enough to come up with a pattern. And there's a lot of time involved with resawing it and actually preparing it to a size and a dimension and a shape that you can use to then start building the board. So I put a lot of time and effort into getting to the spot where most people that build wood products, they'd go to the lumber yard, get a piece of wood that's finished on four sides and just go straight to work. We love to do collaborations with surf artists or ocean-centric artists. It helps those small businesses grow their user base, grow their customers, and it allows us to showcase really unique things that no one else in the industry is doing. I was browsing and saw uh, Haven Skis. Uh, the work that Brian's doing is so similar to the kind of things that we're doing. He's doing skis, we're doing surfboards. Yeah, and we went from there. We ended up calling me and we talked about a collaboration that we could do for a, a snowboard. Part of the process, um, being that it was a snowboard and I don't make snowboards yet, I wasn't set up for snowboards. I had been doing some collaborations with Reason Snowboards um, in Alamosa. And so Dave Jessen at Reason was the first guy who popped into my head. He just told me about it, told me he met this, met this guy, Ventana Surfboards, and uh, what they do and everything, and he wanted to do a collab and seek, seek out my knowledge of building the board. 
And we decided, hey, we got to match this with something equally beautiful that's a surfboard. And that kicked off the collaboration uh, with the surfboard and the snowboard between Haven Skis, Reason Board Company, and Ventana. There's no, I'd say, new raw materials in this board, which is something that's not done. I mean, all other ski manufacturers are putting new wood into their cores, store-bought veneers um, onto top sheets usually. But no, this one's been, been fashioned down from wood that's been previously used and then and made new again for the use in this board. The woods that went into the snowboard and the surfboard are quite unique. Most of them are from the Western Flyer, the boat that Steinbeck took through the Sea of Cortez. There's also wood from the offcuts, Alaskan yellow cedar, from the new version of the boat that they're creating, which is going to be a state-of-the-art research vessel that will be uh, docked here in Monterey, and kids will learn about the ocean on the boat. And there's abalone inlay. There's all sorts of really interesting reclaimed materials that, that make it you know, not just functionally terrific, but uh, beautiful as well. Each piece in here has this different source. In a sense, that's what you're building and you're building different places, different stories, different people who've been in, in contact with it and putting it all together in a, in a new story for its new life. So glass base, base glass layer for this one. Core, Core glass. We'll put some carbon in there. Okay. Some the top layer of fiberglass, top sheet. Somewhat worried about the core being planed thinner, but it's a stiffer wood, so it should compensate. Yeah, because that's all mahogany, right? And then you said purple heart, or is that walnut on the Sa side? You sent purple heart. Okay. I think it'll ride good, especially like with the, the purple heart sidewalls. Uh, it just adds that much more stiffness, you know, tracking. Yeah. You know, having a thinner board will keep it lighter, but keep that stiffness in it. You know, yeah, kind of yeah, untested wood, see. but I mean, see how, how it does. Yeah, never thought of making a snowboard out of mahogany. Yeah, <laughs> so we should uh, cut some glass and get to laying up. Yeah, what sounds, do you think? Sounds good. So it's been great partnering with these other small companies such as Reason and Ventana because we do share that soul of why we're doing it. There's so much passion that comes out in, in, the, in the products of what everybody's making. To find people like that um, is really gratifying. You know, you have that connection. There, there's something innately pure in that and, and natural. The cheapest guitar could write a song and uh, you could change the world. But the guitar making itself is the way to get the message out. And, and the message is what me and Martine are doing to make the world a better place. The temporary possession of the wood, we do our part, moves on, and the people that use this as a tool are the ones that change the world. What our job is to do is to make the most sophisticated and expressive tool possible for people to do that. Beautiful. We figured out a way to make a profitable business off of other people's trash. It's actually more profitable because we do it that way. 
We don't pay for wood. One of our rules is we won't buy wood. And so our cost is actually less. And because the stories that go along with these really cool wood sources that we get, historical exotic woods from around the world, the boards are actually worth more. We've tried to inspire even larger companies to think that way because we're trying to inspire larger businesses and the broader industry to act in a more responsible way. A Central Coast surfboard company is making a splash in the surfing world with eco-friendly products. Ventana Surfboards and Supplies, recently recognized by Save Our Shores, named Ocean Business of the Year. A surfboard and a snowboard, you're utilizing this natural resource that we have, which is water, in various forms, whether it's frozen or liquid. Both sports really aim to provide the same thing to the rider. We're having fun going out and doing something we love, and to, to do that and rob from something else at the same time wouldn't feel as good as if you're trying to put everything you can into it to make it better and more sustainable for everyone involved. And so seeing that wood that's upcycled and reused into these boards creates this common ground. Really, we're all the same. We're all using the environment. We're all trying to take care of this environment because it gives us so much for enjoyment. We want to take care of it. And we want to you know, continue for the future to take care of it for, for writers in all generations to come.